Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Slayer and PVM Locked. So, two important milestones that we're going to get today, because I'm sick of not having them to be honest. First one is we want the Abyssal Teleport gate stone thing that gets us to the middle of the abyss as soon as we teleport with the wizard in the wilderness. Now it's been pretty awful trying to just get through all of those swarms of abyssal creatures so I want to be able to get in there, get the runes made and then get back to PVM in as fast as I can. So to do that we need 67 archaeology which we are so close to getting. We also need 80 dungeoneering so that's going to be one hell of a grind. The second part of the episode though we need to get our new slayer master. I think it's Curadel, I think that's how you say it, but we need to get Ancient Cavern unlocked, we need to get to 110 combat and start getting those decent Slayer tasks. We get more points, we get some more interesting Slayer tasks because I am so done with cave crawlers and all of that sort of nonsense. We need to get the good ones. I want to get Abyssal Demons, I don't think we're going to get there today, but let's just jump into it and see how much progress we can make. So I thought it was 67 for the relic, turns out it's 68, but that's not too bad, we've only got one more level to do, I'm not going to do it right now though, we're going to put it off and we're going to go do some dungeoneering. So just to be a little bit more efficient, let's go get the dungeoneering task done before we start doing the full dungeoneering grind, let's get the easy task set done and then the medium task set done which took me over an hour but it's three seconds of footage and let's crack on with getting some dungeoneering done. Now watching me just get dungeoneering levels over and over and over again is a little bit boring. If some of you like it then I apologize but what I'm going to do is stick on some royalty free music and then just take this moment just to say to you all thank you so much for all of the support on the channel we've reached 100 subscribers within the last few days and the channel is actually growing faster than ever and i am super thrilled i know we've been a little bit inconsistent with uploads recently there's a lot that's been going on in my life but i've got back to a sort of semi-regular schedule we'll be doing one to two videos a week and it's going to be really good i have so much footage for you and yeah honestly i'm just overwhelmed i made this series just for myself more than anything else and just to kind of document my journey i never thought that you'd, i'd have 100 people watching the videos let alone following along that was weird that made it sound like i was dying or something yeah, let's just get back to the video. So after three days of training Dungeoneering, we made it back to Archaeology and got level 68. So we can now go get the artifact that we need in order to make the relic and then we should be good to go. So this is attempt number two because I didn't have enough crow notes the first time. So we've offered the relic up, let's activate the power and then let's go check out what it's like to teleport straight to the abyss. So just casually idling in the wilderness and hoping I don't get PK'd, but let's click on the wizard and hopefully... Yes! Oh, it's so good. Oh, no more of those stupid little creatures just trying to kick the shit out of me. Oh, it's going to speed everything up so much. I'm so happy. We're missing one thing, though. We're missing one really important thing, and that is a wilderness sword. So let's go head over, see if we can do the task set for this, and grab a wilderness sword. So that game of Death Pong is officially over, and I can now teleport with the wilderness set completed to Mr. X, and go and get the wilderness sword. You know what I think we're going to do as well though? I think we're going to get the demonic skull. So what we're going to need to do is sacrifice 100 slayer points and go and get that from the mage in the wilderness. You know, I don't need to show every time I sacrifice slayer points, but I kind of like it. I know you guys trust me to follow the rules of the series. I mean, it's my series. I could change the rules if I wanted to, but yeah, I just think it's nice. I mean, I get to watch the Slayer points tick down and just think of all of the other things I could be spending it on, but no one said the challenge was going to be easy. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, there's a nice lovely XP boost. I think it increases your chance of getting the Mystic Thread stuff as well, so that'll be quite nice if that happens, but I'm just really hoping that I don't get PK'd. I have seen a few PKers around here, but they tend to leave you alone if you've not got a skull. And there we have level 57 runecrafting. That should be the barbarian fire making done, which means we should, hopefully, have access to the whirlpool. Whee! And here we are in the ancient cavern, so let's make our way over to Curadel and get our first task. Ooh, ascension creatures. 
So I'm here bravely standing with my magic shortbow against these ascension creatures. The thing I've noticed, they drop a lot of maple logs. That's going to be really useful. Oh, and I also got a key. Now this is a milestone I have been waiting for for a long time. Here it comes. Boom. 200 tasks in a row. How awesome is that? 270 slayer points for getting it done as well. I oh, I'm just so happy with that. 200 tasks in a row. I remember the very first task that we got and it, we, we'd had the mega car and we had all sorts of ridiculous things happen at the beginning. And just to think how far we've come just to even get to these Jadinkos when I was struggling to do anything at the beginning, it's such a huge progression. Now, even though I'm not using double XP, that doesn't mean I can't exploit the fact that Core Hunting FC has a party going on pretty much constantly now. So we're gonna get the AT divination requirement that we needed for invention. I think we're still quite a way off because crafting and smithing are a pain in the ass to train on this account. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. 80 Divination, though, is one we can just smash out right now. And there it is, 80 Divination. We are officially one third of the way towards in unlocking Invention, which is pretty much the biggest milestone that we're going to get on this account anytime soon. And it's a good job I decided not to do the Fight Cave, because we managed to get an Obsidian Cape on our Tazar Slayer task. That looks really, really cool. Let's try it on. Let's see how it looks on us. Oh, that is beautiful, and it just blends with the Guthans armor so well. It's it's like it was made for this armor set. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be using that for the foreseeable future. So, in the background, while all of this has been going on, I've also been getting quite a few farming levels. So, we managed to get 51 farming there. I'm not quite sure where the 52 farming footage went but there we go there's another 53 farming now i have been enjoying player owned farms quite a lot because it's given me quite a few resources and and things like that but the issue is that now we're training up cows sure we're growing cows and we're doing a few sheep but the xp is is dropping off we need to start getting things like chin chompers dragons all of that sort of stuff as we get going dragons are going to be the easiest one because you can get them as a slayer task without too many problems but chin chompers are going to be tricky i'm not sure how i'm going to get the player own farm pets yet We'll just have to wing it and see how it ends up going. So there we've managed to complete Fromenic Trials. It's a really long and tedious quest, but I actually really enjoyed doing it this time round. Um, I don't know, it just sort of hit a little bit differently. I'm not quite sure why, but maybe that's because there's a load of spells that I really want from Lunar Diplomacy, and you need Fromenic Trials to get Lunar Diplomacy. The spells that I need... Hunter Kit is the main one because then I can actually start hunting Kebits um, because then we, there's no other way really to get a Noose Wand. Plank Make, Spin Flax, Humidify, all absolutely amazing but they all require Dream Mentor. But things that we can use, Sift Soil, that's going to be really good, and Fertile Soil, that's the big one. An unlimited supply of Super Compost, that's going to be so good. And that's Lunar Diplomacy completed. That was also a really good quest. I do enjoy that one. But I've actually thought of some even better spells that I'm going to be able to use. Telekinetic Grind. That's such a good spell for grinding down those blue dragon scales so then I can make anti-fires. If I'm making batches of anti-fires, that's going to be incredible to use. That's just, yeah, I, I really can't go without that spell. That's that quest done. We still need to do Dream Mentor, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that today. The final bit of this video is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to switch back to the kind of stock footage from the beginning of the episode of me just doing some krill. And we'll discuss something that's really important to me. Okay, so this was going to be its own video, but I don't honestly don't have enough to say for it to be its own video. Now, a lot of people, um, my crew's put a video out, Protox has put one out, Ryan's put one out. There's there's so many people that have put out videos about this, but I just wanted to say that the way that Jagex have gone around the Yak track this year has just been honestly like a punch in the face to a lot of players. 
Now, I'm not maxed and I don't tend to do things like Yak Track, not on this account anyway. However, this time around, I thought, you know what? I'll get the cosmetics, I'll do it, it'll be some nice content, we'll go through it and I'll make a nice video. There's no way to turn off that bonus XP that they're given. And for those that don't know, basically, it's become a pay to win method of just getting a plus 25% bonus to your experience just by completing the yak track um, and you can just skip the whole thing using bonds and yeah it's, it's just really annoyed me a little bit because I really wanted to do yak track this year. Uh, I, I did um, and it looks really interesting and I really like the cosmetics but if I stick with six weeks of plus 25% XP it's going to ruin the experience for me like I could just train Herblore and then that's what 20% of the grind just gone and I I don't know I just really dislike it and they have done a, a slight sort of backtrack in terms of the way they're doing Treasure Hunter and I think that the changes they're making to Treasure Hunter are really good um, having the sort of guaranteed rewards and then just bonus rewards on top of that and it's transparent on exactly what you're going to get for the next 20 or so special rewards so I think that that's really good but it doesn't take away from the fact that they're just turning it into this weird sort of pay to win aspect 25% is not a insubstantial amount is that a word whatever there's there's so many ways that you can monetize properly i just don't understand this obsession with pay money get xp there's so many different ways to do it yeah that's basically my thought on it and unfortunately that means no yak track on the channel for a while and i just hope that they don't make this a permanent thing there's been so much kickback i just wanted to sort of make a statement and say you know what i stand with everything that these creators are saying because i've got a small platform but i'm going to i'm going to make my voice heard on it it's it's not okay but on that note that's where we're going to end the video today thank you all very much for watching and Again, a huge thank you for the 100 subscribers. That has been amazing. And I'm hoping that I'll watch this video back in a year and think that 100 is nothing. But we'll just keep growing the channel. I'll keep making videos as long as you guys keep enjoying watching them. Thanks very much for watching. If you've not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on this whole Yak Track situation. Just please let me know. Like the video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in a few days.